hello friends welcome to kb tutorials so in this tutorial we are going to learn one of the very useful interview question actually it's like a unique number in an array okay so let's say like i have this array if you see one is repeated two times three is repeated four is repeated whereas two is not repeated so my output is two so and uh, two three double one so my output is two here and also when there is no repetition my output is something like zero or there is no repetition some kind of message so their goal is to understand how you process this situation this kind of a problem statement so in this tutorial we are going to tackle this using dictionary concept in UiPath there were many different ways of doing it so in maybe depends on the response on this video we'll try to uh, work on the other concepts how we can achieve this solution so before uh, implementing this uh, i have a website called kbtutorials.in which i am working from the past few you know 10 15 days uh, this is mostly on my uh, ua path related articles like you can see these are the articles guys so uh, even this tutorial that I am planning will come in an article so if you are not able to understand if you stuck somewhere else I recommend you guys to follow this article that I am going to put it in the description as well as in a comment section and I am going to pin that comment and also you can uh, follow me in other channel that is KB Talks where I am doing these uh, funny sketches and vlogs actually this you know been thinking of doing this from the past three four months but i had that camera fear previously so it's my goal to overcome out of that camera fear and doing something positive and some kind of a comedy so i hope you guys support me on this channel as well because in the beginning as you know it's very difficult to get that uh, uh, initial support so i hope you guys support me here also so I'm going to put this in the description as well as in the comment section as well. So do check out these videos which are usually in Telugu because that is my mother tongue. So hope you guys like that. So first of all here let me take a one empty sequence. Let's say like as a dictionary example like that dictionary example. Okay. So I'm taking one input away here which is let's say like input of array types so array of integers okay and uh, let me initialize to some value like 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 3 okay 3 comma 3 there is a 1 comma extra again okay cool then then one dictionary I need to take so let's say like dict which browse for types and type as dictionary this one okay of type key and values both are of integer type because i am dealing only with integers here okay then first target is to try to initialize our dictionary here that is new dictionary of 32 comma int 32 both key and value pairs are of integers okay here it is dict now in order to do this first of all we need to loop through each and every value into the array right so so to do that i am using for each loop here integer of int 32 okay if you stuck anywhere here i recommend you guys to follow my website that is kbtutorials.in okay i tried it for dot com but it didn't came so i try to loop through each and everything so for that purpose i'll try to write it here okay item dot to string now we have initialized our dictionary now it's time to add each and every value to the dictionary 
but before adding to it let me explain here i have something like this one comma one comma two comma three comma three comma four comma four comma five comma five okay something like this is a dictionary so in the beginning my dictionary will be empty right then i will add one value to it which is keys one and value would be one then to my dictionary the second value which i am looping to this away right so is one and value would be would be two since already key and corresponding value i have so i'll get that value i'll increment it by one okay so value would be two next iteration dictionary two and value could be one because two is unique as of now next dictionary would be three and value could be uh, one next dictionary three so this won't be there right in a similar way dictionary value could be two so this won't be there because key is always unique in a dictionary okay so two next dictionary will be four and the value could be one next dictionary key is four value could be two since four key is already exist in that array okay and dictionary also then similar way dictionary five so at the end in a similar way if you take five would be two because two values are there in array in the end i have this value as one which is uniquely there in my array so i am returning that key as two this is what i am trying to do so i am iterating and i am checking that key existing in my dictionary or not so for that just type dictionary here you get all these types okay key exist activity i have which is key and value dictionary okay key would be my item value is like uh, boolean which is like uh, let's say like flag boolean kind okay then this is my flag okay based on this flag i am going to decide which value to assign okay so for that i will use if and else if the key is existing in the dictionary i will get flag as true the key is not existing i'll get false as a value for the flag so flag the key is existing and not existing first let me take not exist case so it's not existing in the dictionary then what i have to do i have to add to the dictionary right so i'm adding the value to the dictionary what is that what is that value i need to add my value is item and value would be one because i am adding for the first time to the dictionary okay then the keys exist case so when the keys exist then get that value for the given key and increment it by one right so let me take one variable called value of integer type here dictionary and get from dictionary okay this one and this is of dictionary type key is item value with value okay key is item and to this value whatever that i got I am going to add plus one to it. This is the scenario like this, guys. One because the one is already there. I am getting that value of one from here, and I am adding plus one to this one, so I'll get two here. Right. So add it to the dictionary. Dictionary would be like dictionary dict key is my item, and value is value. Value plus one. Okay. 
I have this right now. This is my if condition and this is my entire loop. Now if you see what I have achieved, I have achieved looping through each and every value into the uh, dictionary sorry into the array and I try to add those value to my dictionary right now let's see something like for each loop dictionary uh, let's say like key okay and uh, I want to print key and corresponding value get from dictionary integer type dictionary would be like dict key is my uh, item here and the value would be always value which I have created here ok so maybe I need to increase the scope here because I already created a value Is the scope item of integer thirty two type I need to take? Then what I need to do for printing purpose? Write dot line. That means item. Let's say value dot two string. Even this one is also I need to have two string, right? Dot two string. I have white line here so I will try to comment delete that because I will get confused in the output we don't need this now let's execute and see how the output is coming same key already added ok I think this issue is here in the sequence value plus sequence if the same keys in the key okay I need to take that into consideration fine fine key exist is true here I have this key that means so here uh, key exist already existing right so in that case what I will do is I will remove that key then I will add it here I have this dictionary and keys I hope this should work let's see now you can see yeah now you can see our output came properly based on our input our output came properly so cool then double one two double three is my input one came two times two came one three came two times okay so based on this now we can simply uh, we can simply use this concept here and I can print that how here I am looping through the keys right I have this value right so I have this value here what I will do is simply use if and else condition and if value is equal to 1 that means that key is repeated only once that I will try to print let's see if I have a break statement I'll come out of that break statement. That's it. Cool. Now let's see. Now you can see we got it properly. 
Now let me try to 